Hello, and thank you for your interest in joining the Bloomington Fire Department family. We're looking for individuals who will be dedicated to serving our community. Our mission is to protect life and property, minimize the impacts of fires, medical emergencies, and other natural or human-made disasters without subjecting our personnel to unreasonable risk. In this video, we will outline the necessary steps to join our team. You'll learn how to apply the educational and physical requirements and gain access to valuable resources to help you throughout the process. Firefighters are not only trained to fight fires, but to handle medical emergencies, educate the community, and manage a variety of behind the scenes work. There are many steps involved in taking on the title. First, applicants are required to be a minimum of 20 years old and a maximum of 34 years old on the test date. Be at least 21 years old at the time of appointment. Age exemptions for individuals who are previously employed as a full-time firefighter in a regularly constituted fire department. Reside within 25 mile radius from the intersection of Locust and North Main Street in Bloomington within 18 months of the initial appointment. Must be of good moral character as determined by background investigation must agree to be fingerprinted and found not to have been convicted of a felony or certain misdemeanors as listed in the Illinois state statutes. Once these basic requirements are met, you can now apply for the job through the online application. You can apply at www.cityblm.org slash firejobs. You will need to submit a copy of your birth certificate, high school diploma, and a 2x2 two two color photo taken within the past six months. College transcripts are required for education points, and a DD-214 form is needed for proof of military service. Our firefighters must also meet specific educational requirements before joining our team. Applicants must have obtained a high school diploma or its equivalent. Applicants are also required to obtain an Illinois Emergency Medical Technician Paramedic EMTP license. Candidates are eligible to test if they submit proof of enrollment in a certified Illinois paramedic program. If the candidate has a National Registry paramedic license, they may participate and apply for the IDPH license later. Those who have out-of-state or National Registry paramedic license can receive information and apply for the Illinois paramedic license reciprocity process by contacting the Illinois Department of Public Health at 217-278. 5900 or on their website at idph.state.il.us slash EMS. After submitting your online application, the next step is to sign up and take the exam through the National Testing Network. The NTN exam will test you on four subjects, human relations, mechanical, math, and reading. You'll be expected to pass each portion with the following scores. Human Relations, 70 or above. Mechanical, 60 or above. Math, 70 or above. Reading, 80 or above. Your average score must be 70% or higher to pass. Your score will be sent to the fire department for review immediately once you finish the test. Scores will be available in your NTN account two to three days after completing your exam. Applicants are ranked in order by their test score. Veteran applicants may receive five veterans preference points following statutory requirements. Those with an associate's degree in fire science or emergency medical services or a bachelor's degree in any subject may also be eligible to earn five additional points. Firefighting is a rigorous job. Those who want to take the responsibility and honor of joining our family must prove that they are in excellent physical shape and meet a variety of other physical requirements. Candidates must complete a candidate physical ability test, the CPAT, and provide documentation of their ability to climb ladders at the same time of hire. The issued date of the CPAT card with ladder climb cannot be more than one year old at the time of the job offer. The CPAT is a pass-fail timed test designed to simulate real-life firefighting tasks. Participants must perform the given tasks under a maximum total time of 10 minutes and 20 seconds. Physical challenges include stair climb, hose drag, equipment carry, ladder raise and extension, forcible entry, 
search, rescue with a dummy drag, sealing breach, and pull. Applicants must also undergo a comprehensive medical examination, psychological exam, and drug screen performed by the physician designated by the Board of Fire and Police Commissioners. Eyesight is also a critical aspect of the job. Eligible candidates must be able to distinguish red from green for color blindness and meet visual acuity standards. Once you've proven that you've met all the basic educational and physical requirements, you may qualify for an interview. Immediately following the interview, you will meet with the background investigators for an integrity-based review. You must score an average of 70% from the panel to move on to the next step. This interview is 30% of your overall score. All scores will be ranked in order and a final eligibility list will be created, which must be approved by the commission. If you are offered the job, you must sign a service agreement before becoming employed. The agreement covers reimbursement for training and equipment costs if the probationary firefighter terminates their employment with the City of Bloomington before the successful completion of their probationary period. Once you've completed all the steps, you will enter the probationary period where you must attend and graduate from an office of the State Fire Marshal Approved Firefighter Program. Candidates with an out-of-state or military firefighter certification will attend the Recruit Academy. During your training, you must also obtain the OSFM Advanced Firefighter and Hazardous Materials Operations Certifications. For more information, resources, requirements, or to submit your application, please visit www.citybln.org slash fire. If you have any questions, feel free to contact our Human Resources Department at 309-434-4. 2215. Bloomington firefighters are responsible for the safety and well-being of our community and its residents. We face danger head-on and make a positive impact on the lives of others each day we're on the job. We join our family at the Bloomington Fire Department in protecting and serving civilians. Take the first step today.